let us begin solving some numerical examples on solar angles. Uh, example number one, determine the location and length of the shadow of a 5 meter height flag post erected on the ground at Nakvur on 15th April at 10 am. Take equation of time on 15th April to be minus 13 minutes and then latitude and longitude of Nagpur is given as 21.14 degree north latitude and 79 degree east is the longitude. Standard time longitude of Allahabad is 82.5 degrees. Now the typical sketch of the problem, it is always a good practice to sketch the data in a pictorial manner as far as possible. If it is possible, then the picture of the, uh, the numerical problem uh, becomes clear and it becomes easy to uh, strategize the problem and solve the problem further. So this is the sketch of the problem which is uh, given. So this is a flag post we can see 5 meter height. This is a ground then this is a sun and then sun rays are falling on a flag post. So one sun ray which is passing on the extreme edge it is generating the length. So it is responsible for determining the length of the shadow. So this is the shadow. L is the shadow length. So if, if we determine uh, zenith angle, then we can determine the length of the shadow. So to determine length and location of the shadow of the flag post, uh, this is the thing which is to be determined. Now L is the length of the shadow. So for determination of length of the shadow, we have to find out the zenith angle. Then for location of the shadow, the position of the sun in the sky must be identified. And then for this, one has to evaluate the R angle. Okay, so evaluating zenith angle first. So we know this expression for zenith angle. Cos theta z is equal to sin phi sin del plus cos phi cos del cos omega. So in the above equation, phi latitude of Nagpur is given as 21.14. So this is 21.14. Del, we have to find out declination. Declination corresponding to 15th of April. Now, at 15th of April, n is equal to day number is equal to 105. So, del is 9.34. If you just substitute this into the equation, the value of n 105. If you substitute in this equation, you will get del equal to 9.34 degrees. Now, this is degrees. For evaluating omega, uh, omega, that is our angle, uh, local apparent time is needed. For local apparent time, standard time is, this is the expression used for calculating LAT. So 10, 10 o'clock in the morning minus 4 into 82.5 minus 79 local longitude, that is Nagpur longitude. And this is the equation of time at 15th of April. So LAT comes out to be 9.55. Remember the answer we are getting is in decimal 9.55. Now our angle 12 minus 80 into 15 it comes out to be 36.75 degrees. So our angle omega is 36.75 yet to attain the zenith. So substituting all the values uh, in the expression here we get the value of cos theta z to be 0 0.7961 and then theta z 37.25 degrees. Now here if we say 36 point theta z we have obtained as 37.25. So this theta z and theta z is obtained. Now here tan theta z is L upon H. So tan theta z is L upon H. So tan 37.25 L upon H is equal to uh, if you perform this uh, multiplication you will get length of the shadow as 3.8 meter so length of the shadow is 3.8 meter now here our angle is 36.75 degree the sun is yet to attain the zenith position which corresponds to zero hour angle so sun is rising from the east and then this is plan of course so it is going like this 
in this direction and it is setting in the rest. Now it is in this position, 36, uh, this our angle we will change as 36.75. So our angle is 36.75. So it is yet to achieve, uh, yet to attain its zenith. So when it attains its zenith, the shadow will totally be on the north side. Okay, on the because sun will be on the south side. Okay, so at zenith position, sun will cast a shadow of the flag post exactly towards the north. Okay, here it is towards the north. So for this condition to come, the sun has to travel another 36.75 degrees towards west. Thus, current sun position is thus between south and east. So a current position is between south and east. In this, sun is lying in this quadrant of the uh, space, we can say. So thus the current sun position is thus between the south and east direction and that to 36.75. Degree eastwards from the south. This is illustrated. So sun is on 36.75 degrees towards the east. Naturally, the shadow will be cast on this side. So the shadow will be in the direction 36.75 degrees uh, westwards from north. So shadow of the flag post will be 36.75 degrees west of south. So this will be the location of the shadow. Okay, so this is the first example. Now, second example, on which two days of the year sun will be exactly overhead at noon in Nagpur, which are the longest and shortest days. So this, this, this we will skip because longest and shortest days are uh, relevant to the, when the sun is at tropic of Cancer, that is the longest day and when sun is at the tropic of Capricorn, that will be the shortest day for the uh, for any location in the northern hemisphere. So that that doesn't involve any numerical calculation. That's why we will uh, drop it. So now answer uh, on which two days of the year sun will be exactly overhead at noon. So which which are the shadowless days at the noon? Uh, in the year. So for sun to be exactly overhead for any location, the declination on the day for that location must be equal to the latitude of the location. So latitude of Nagpur is 21.14 as given in previous example. So del the declination at Nagpur has to be 21.14 then sun will be exactly overhead at noon in the Nagpur, in Nagpur. So setting the value of del to be equal to the latitude that is 21.14. So this del is equal to 21.14 if we set and then keep unknown n. So we have to determine the day n on which day. So if you evaluate here, here you can observe that this value you are getting is a sign of some value. So for example, let us say 0.9014 is equal to sin x. So x is x if you take sine inverse of this you will get x equal to 64.38. So this is the angle. Okay. And sin x is equal to sin 180 minus x. So both these so it will have second uh, iteration. So 180 minus x also have the same value sin of 180 minus x also has the same value. So therefore we obtain two values of n here as follows. So first value of x, uh, x is 64.38. And another value is 180 minus x that is 115.61. Now 360 by 65 n1 for example let us say where at x equal to 64.38. Okay. So corresponding to this let us call this n1 and then the value of n1 comes out to be minus 218. If you substitute the value of 180 minus x here equal to 180 minus x that is 115.61 we will get the value of n2 that is 1 minus 166. Now what does this negative value indicate? The negative values indicate negative count of the days that is n equal to for example uh, we say n equal to 1 for 1st January. Now 
n will be equal to minus 1 at 31st of December, minus 2 at 30th of December. Similarly, if we go on counting backwards, we will get this minus 2 over it. So the another simple way is to just subtract uh, this figure from 365. So you will get n1 dash to be 365 minus 2 over it, that is 147. And in another case, it is 199. So 147th day and 199th day, these are the two days at which sun will be exactly overhead. So n-1 147 is 27th May and n-1 199 indicates 18 July. So at Nagpur, sun will be exactly overhead on 27th May and 18th July. So this is the answer of the question. So why why this twice it will be two uh, twice you will get the days because when the sun starts its movement movement from northern northern direction like sun rises daily from the east and sets over west so from east is on that side west is on this side so sun moves east west east west every time simultaneously it moves north and south direction okay so at this at the same time in the north and south direction in a minuscule manner. So sun moves in that. So on its journey towards north, it passes latitude 21.14 degree north on 27th May. So while it's travel towards the northern direction, it will pass 21.14 degree north on 27th May. And then travel to north till the maximum declination. Maximum declination till what? Till, till sun reaches Tropic of Cancer. That is 23.45 degree north. And then it starts its journey downwards and again it passes 21.14 degree north latitude on 18 July. So and then it, it continues to move towards south till the Tropic of Capricorn. That's why we get two values. So each location will get two values, two days on which sun will be exactly overhead. Now then what is the importance of equinox days? Equinox days are those days on which the sun will be exactly overhead at equator, okay, not at any other location. So importance of equinox is that. Now third example is this. At a certain location, date and time, a solar flat plate collector is tilted in such a way that sun rays are normally incident on the collector surface at that instant. Solar altitude angle is 52 degree at that instant. A pyranometer placed in the sunshine shows 800 watt per meter square, while another kept in the shade shows 180 watt per meter square. Now we have to estimate instant solar radiation in instantaneous solar radiation intensity incident on the collector. Ground reflectance we have to take to be 0.2. So the sketch of the arrangement is this. So the first thing we have to draw is the sun ray. So if you draw the, so draw the sun ray first because the data given is at the altitude angle. So we will draw the sun ray first, which is at the given altitude angle 52. And then the incident is given normal incident means perpendicular to this sun ray, the collector is placed. So collector is placed perpendicular to this. So normal incident means theta equal to 90 degrees. Incident angle is equal to, sorry, incident angle is equal to zero cos theta is equal to 1. So once you construct this figure, then all the things remain, uh, all the things can be determined. Like you can say beta can be determined because this is alpha 90 degrees beta. So beta is 90 minus alpha. Now zenith also can, zenith angle also can uh, be determined. This is alpha, this is 90 minus alpha, this is zenith angle. So zenith angle is 90 complement of uh, alpha. So zenith angle can be determined, tilt can be determined. So with this we can determine the tilt factors and then incident, uh, incident angle is 0 it is already mentioned. Now given Ig is 800 watt per meter square and Id diffuse radiation in the shade the parameter is kept in the shade. So diffuse radiation intensity is given as 180. So the instantaneous solar radiation intensity the expression is like this It is equal to IBRB plus IDRD plus IGRG, IGRR. So IB is IG minus RD, uh, IG we all know, so 800 minus this 800 minus 180, this is 620 watt per meter square and then RB is cos theta by cos theta z, that is cos theta is 1, 
cos theta z is cos 38 because theta z comes out to be 90 minus 52 that is 38 degrees. So zenith angle is 38 degrees here. So this uh, tilt factor for beam radiation is 1.269. Now tilt factor for diffuse radiation 1 plus cos beta by 2. So cos beta is again beta is again 38 degrees 1 plus cos beta by 2.894 and then rd 1 minus cos beta by 2 into rho g it comes out to be 0.0211. So if you substitute all these figures in this expression in this expression you will get this answer as 964.58 watt per meter square. So we will stop here and continue solving some more uh, complex problems.